to Red Boots and Heels. I'm Boots. And I'm Heels. Glad you joined us. (laughs) (laughs) How about that State of the Union? (laughs) Okay, so here's my take on this. Okay, I was actually surprised that Biden spoke with as much clarity as he did because I'm sure the expected gaffes and the memes and all the things, because, you know, he always gives great content for that. Yeah. Every single time he gets up to speak anywhere, I'm sure there's lots of disappointment out there because he actually had a lot of clarity in his speaking, but that didn't keep him from the untruths that were spilled oh, out. Oh, my word. You know, I mean, like one after another, especially the big one where, yeah. uh, you know, that, you know, us Republicans must hate the elderly, I know, and we want to steal their money or take away their their money. And um, thank goodness <laughs> there are people like Marjorie Taylor Greene that are willing, <laughs> as rudely as as some people think it is, you yeah. know. And I understand the office of president um, yeah. is deserving of respect, yeah. and there's a certain decorum that we're to have. Yeah. But you know, we're in a time to where so much has gone on for so long unchecked that it's about time people start standing up and saying, you are lying. Stop the lies. You're lying. Yeah. So hats off to her. I mean, yeah, you know, I mean, I mean, it was not even just her. It was others. I mean, it was others. It was opposition, obviously, when it comes down to that. But I feel the same way you do that. It's like, okay, you know, it can boil over. I literally had to, I I literally dreaded watching that so bad that I had, I thought, I'm just going to chain myself to the couch and make myself watch it. um, Just just so that, you know, we can dig into things that we need to dig into. And, you know, it was, it was almost in a way I was shocked, like I said, of the clarity that he was speaking. They must've really pumped him up with a few things because, you know, whoa, you know, um, I was expecting just like everybody else to be so much blundering, but you know, he was spot on when it came to, you know, the untruth that was expected. Certainly he delivered that as, as we said, but also, there was other amusing and things that happened. I mean, the kiss. I know it sounds petty, but the kiss, smack on the lips from Jill Biden to Kamala's husband. Well, and it was like, it was like... Um, they're a weird family. Okay, they're, just they're weird. The story. They're weird, but... Uh, the familiarity too, like they were very familiar with each other. It was like and normal. Like did it, she slip him the tongue? Because I, I'm kind of thinking she did. I don't know. It was just strange. But you know what? You know what got to me more than anything, and the the thing that actually I didn't need to chain to chain myself to the couch was really McCarthy's. You know his expressions, yeah. his ever changing expressions to having to sit there in the old toads used to be seat and listen to all the things that was to being the said and these crap. explanations of all these acts that are out there that are not true. If you read them, you would know that. But it was like he was, he said absolutely expressionless through some of it, but then sometimes his expressions were changing. And, and that to me was a little bit amusing <clears throat> yeah. just from the simple, I'm watching, I'm finding myself, yes, I'm hearing him over here talk, but I'm watching McCarthy almost the entire time because it was just like, whoa, you know, how can you do that? Well, hey, at least you didn't tear up well, anything kinda, behind his back. Right. It's been kind of nice for you me know? because in, um, in the past several years with uh, the old hag, <laughs> I would take my American flag and I would cover up the side of my television that she was on. Yeah. That, that you know, right side. Um, their left, our right. Yeah. I would cover it with my flag so I didn't yeah, have to keep, watch her. Keep so your eye on the prize. It was kind of nice to be able yeah. to, to, to watch it. It really was. Well, you know, I mean, I sort of wanted a, 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 a blind eye over here. You know? <laughs> I will have to say that. Okay. A few times I thought about cupping my hand over this eye, okay, in, in the view. But anyway, um, all in all, you know, I don't know. There's a lot can be taken away from it. Um, hopefully Look. people, the American people are paying attention to some of the things he's saying. If they catch him out in an outright lie, the problem is, is that, you know, his followers or the Democratic Party just will ignore that. Right. And, you know, right. Certainly. And the minions, the, the, the minions pretend there are no lies because they, <laughs> yeah. they want to remain blind, deaf and dumb. I don't know. Yeah, it's just crazy. But anyway, yeah, you know, so that was that was it. And then, of course, um, as I spoke earlier about the balloon we had a lot of uh, yesterday, they shot down something else. They're not yeah, really well, identifying I mean, that as a balloon. We, we've got a circus. We have a circus. <laughs> we have a house. Hey, it's full. fitting. We've it's got only fitting. Exactly. You we've know? got a house Bring full of clowns. clowns. <laughs> so it was just any given time before we had balloons also. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I didn't even think about that. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. But, yeah, I know they shot it down because on this one, 
unlike the other one that floated across America and hovered, uh, you know, uh, above our bases and everything, you know, gathering whatever, you know, whatever intel they must have been gathering. This one, they said, posed a threat. I still haven't gotten all the information on what threat they thought it, you know, posed, but they did shoot it down over land. Will we ever know? <laughs> I, I, don't know. I don't know. You know, are they, have they even gotten the debris? I don't know. The, I mean, they've never they've never talked about South the Carolina fact that from they, the first one? they confirmed like seeing UFOs or yeah. or that um, you know a lot of the stuff with the FBI and CIA was actually true, the conspiracy theories. So I mean, there's so much that we just don't talk about. Yeah, we don't. Have you seen in the news um, anything about the two elected Republicans? Uh, that have yes. been murdered in one week yes. in New Jersey. I mean, there's Why some on the news, except for it's not really on the yeah, news. Yeah, it's not like, really on like the news. I mean, be... I think that's kind of a big deal that someone oh, is yeah. that that elected officials are being yeah. murdered left and right. I mean, we had a little run of this, yes. you know, a few years ago exactly. with one in Arkansas and then another in Oklahoma, yeah. and then now we've got two in one week in in New Jersey. I mean, isn't that newsworthy? But yet they're going to no. show they're going to show these whack jobs, you yeah. know, twerking at the Grammys and <laughs> celebrating Satan. Satan, yeah, Satanist. That, that's news to them. That's news. You know, but we don't talk. It's we don't not talk just about news him. to them. It's celebrated by them, which oh, sure is, is which is absolutely insane. But no, I don't. I don't. I'm not really surprised by that at all. If it, if it was Democrats that had been shot, there, it would be so much finger pointing going oh, on. Oh my goodness! And it would be, would be on every airwave across the that, world. That I can FBI promise you that. FBI would yeah. be putting out bulletins left and right, wanting information questioning people, everything. Crickets. Yeah. It's like, oh, too bad. So sad. Too bad for them. So sad. Yeah. Yeah. Wah. Wah. That's their attitude. <laughs> it's just it's just nuts. Today's world is absolutely nuts. It's upside down. It is it is upside, upside down. Upside down from how it should be. You know, and the other thing that I kinda wanted to bring up was, you know, what the FTX says in Arkansas about miracle marijuana card holders. Look, Does Arkansas even know that you can't have a gun if you have a medical marijuana card? Well, look, you can't even have warned. ammunition. People <laughs> were warned. They were warned. Uh, great patriots and um, weapons professionals like our friend Jan Morgan yeah. went the extra step in trying to warn people, look, you do not want this initiative here. Yeah. You know, you have to, you have to know. If we get medicinal marijuana in Arkansas, you're going to lose your gun rights. Yeah, it's the stepping stone to that. It's the, it's the yeah. stepping stone to losing gun rights. So it's yeah. a slippery slope. It really is. Thank you a lot, potheads. <laughs> or whatever. Well, I mean, okay. I understand there's probably... We're kidding. Okay, but yeah, the there, truth is there are probably There are probably people who have <gasps> positive benefits from it. Oh, there's lots of people that have positive benefits I from, bet. you know, that natural plan. And I have nothing against marijuana per se, but, you know, I don't see how people can't see that that was the stepping stone to right. getting removal or a reason, because they don't have to have much of a reason, just a little thing, and actually it catapults into something I think, like I this. I think they look at it like, if you have to be high enough that you yeah. don't work a job or you um, you have to have constant access to to if it's for pain yeah. relief the pain relief of being high yeah um, then then you can't carry a weapon I guess is how they're looking at it but um, <laughs> wow it just you know it, it, it just is you know we, we need to pay attention to that though you have to pay attention but you to have things. to pay attention to it before. The votes are there. Right, you know, that's the thing. People are always. It's in too the late. I mean, once moment. it's done, there's, there's. Yeah. It's really hard to get it taken back. Yeah. So, um, yeah. One of my, one of my pet peeves are, really, I didn't know that. I mean, really, I didn't know that on really important issues that really, they're calling for all Americans to get involved in to know this right. stuff before it gets elected. Well, this in, is this is something know. that we've been saying yeah. the whole time we've been doing this is. Know your candidates and know the initiatives. Know the initiatives. Don't yeah. just pick and choose um, because they slide stuff in. They do. So that's it's just a big it's a big deal. Okay. What about John Fetterman, who is now hospitalized? You know, at the Democratic retreat. I mean, did we not know that was going to happen? And I don't say anything bad about his health because nobody wants anybody to be unhealthy. But we said it in the beginning; he's not healthy enough. Right? He's you know, not. Why? He's not capable. But my bigger question yeah. is, why did he take a convicted murderer 
to the State of the Union address with him. Exactly. What was that about? We've fallen so low in our society. <sighs> oh, because that's that, why. That these are the yeah. types of people that go to the State of the Union? Yeah. I mean, I thought that was for like war heroes and, you know, exceptional Americans. I didn't realize that you could be a murderer. Um, yeah. And then, and, you, and and then go. you know, you can, and that's, that's you know, they, they wear the t-shirts. And what about the pins that they were wearing? A lot of the Democrats, they were wearing the abortion pin, you know, with the heart in it. Basically what that's saying is they love abortion. How can you love killing babies? I understand if you have a different stance on that and you have a, uh, you know, a, 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 something to, to say. Hailed. You don't celebrate it. Right. We don't you celebrate don't celebrate, that. celebrate it. You don't wear pins with hearts on it that says abortion and something like that. Did you notice that? It's I'm absolutely just, insane. I, you know, I saw, I, I, oh my beyond God. The, um, the, the Ukrainian ties, yeah. which I'm thinking, yeah. if you're going to our state of the union, wear an American tie. Oh, oh, yeah. Be, be proud again. to be an American. Yeah. You're not a Ukrainian. I understand we've all got sympathy for them. Okie yeah. dokie. Yeah. And you want to keep sending billions of dollars of taxpayers' <laughs> hard-earned wages over there. Yeah, meanwhile, over at the border, you get nothing to help. And as I mentioned last week, Texas is, is building their own darn wall. <laughs> That's amazing. Thank you again, Abbott. Yeah. Thank you, Texas, go go for jumping in there and starting, you know, doing the infrastructure on that wall. I can't say it enough. You know how I feel. I just yeah, think that's top of the top of the news for me always is what's going on there. But anyway, well, yeah. Well, and, and, and while that is happening, yeah. in the District of Columbia, mm -hmm. they have voted to let illegals, non-citizens vote. Oh, if you don't think that that's not the... No hiding. The absolute. No, hide, no election fraud. Dedicated path yeah. that, that we're on, then you're crazy if you, you know don't what? know that. Go go visit a foreign country yeah. and walk into an election center and say, oh, I'm an American. I'm here to vote in your election. And they're going to laugh in your face. Yeah. Do that. Go to a foreign country. Just leave your, Just your pot it. oil behind yeah. if you do. Oh, and actually, sneak into, <laughs> how about you sneak into a foreign country and you don't even have a, a visa and, and you walk in and say, oh, by the way, I'm here and I'm going to vote in your election. I have no vested interest in your country, but yeah. hey, I thought it, I'd do it for kicks and giggles. <laughs> let's see if that actually pans out and that's actually yeah, let's allowed see how that in a works different for country you. for sure. Get after it. <laughs> I want to see. Make sure you video it when you do it. Oh, gosh. Anyway, we're so glad you joined us. We are so glad to talk with you. Please comment. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and just let us know what you're thinking and definitely like us, okay? And go to Even our page. Even if you don't like us, you can like us. Yeah. And go make a review, you know, go tell them that you want us to stay and remain on this platform because I mean, right now we're really fighting censorship like crazy. Us little women from Arkansas really seem to ruffle some feathers out there. Look, I can't okay. imagine why. You can, you can be on national TV wearing <laughs> devil horns and, yeah. you know, dry humping <laughs> and all this crazy stuff that they do. And, but yet we can't talk like we do because no. we get censored. <laughs> no. Go figure. Go figure. Okay. Well, we'll see you again real soon. God bless you and God, God bless, bless America. America. Bye-bye.